JRS kick one here. I was gonna do a video real quick of some cleaning um, and and actually, um, how do you say it? Thinking outside the box and I'll explain kind of as I walk around, but all the rabbits have been taken outside. There used to be a cage if you watch old videos on this side, on this side. And then actually when I first saw rabbits, all these stalls were filled with rabbits. Um, they've all been moved outside. Uh, the catch 22 of that is it does get colder outside and I'll show you some litters that were born night before last and it got down to about 28 degrees and tonight and tomorrow night I have some due and it's going to get down to 16 and 17 so we'll see how they do. I've had them be fine and if they're good mamas all the way down to about 10 degrees is the coldest I've had them make a nest have their babies and they'd be alive the next day but uh on this I've had this barn since I moved here seven years ago and the sheep don't have a shelter and in my mind for the longest time it's one of those things that if it's right in front of you if it's always been that way you'd think that that's how it should be and so when i moved here these are all horse barns so i just used them for rabbits and then if i had a ewe that was in trouble i would uh, bring her in one of these stalls for 24 hours make sure she was fine with her baby but the sheep are outside and they have one shelter I'll show you when I go around the corner that's about a 12 by 15. Just not quite big enough for all of them and it is still out in the elements. Um, and so I had a brain fart, epiphany, whatever you want to call it. And so I'll be cleaning out these two on this side. Here's some seeds I got for two of the pastures that have been hayed way too much before I got here. Um, and so that'll be put on that. But uh, I opened up a little crawl hole between these two that was a solid wall. And me and the kids, it was nastier than it is now. But me and the kids have been cleaning. So we cleaned out this stall, which is a 9 by 13, I think. And this one, which is a 9 by 13. Uh, the rest of this stuff will be cleaned out today. Um, the main um, purpose will be for the sheep. I'm going to put a hole in the wall right here with the door. Um, and that way during bad weather. And sheep are used to being outside. So I'm not saying you have to have shelter. And I'll never say that. Sheep are raised and born and everything out in the elements. But, like, I think this Wednesday or Thursday coming up, it's supposed to be 33 degrees and just storming and raining for, like, 24 hours straight. And that's just rough on any animal. Um, and I have a bunch of lambs, like you saw in the last video. Um, and so it would just be nice for me and them if they had a better place to come into. Um, and the other thing is... I have not utilized this building the way I should have to begin with. And so it's kind of kicking myself. We're cleaning this out today. It's going to all the fruit trees. This is mainly uh, rabbit litter, uh, old rabbit litter. So all the fruit trees are getting a load dumped at their base. And it, boy, you want to talk about good stuff. Rabbit manure around bases of fruit trees. It makes them grow so quick. Um, but here's the other stall. And see, and it's just... It'll be ready for some, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of shavings down for soak up any water and then some hay down. Um, and I mean, they'll have, they'll have quite a bit of space. And I'm looking forward to seeing, and I'll do a video once I'm done and everything. Once again, I don't need this done till Wednesday, Thursday, but I'm trying to get a lot of projects done. This is how deep it was. It's about uh, six inches, seven inches deep. Um, and the other thing guys is, I'm working a full-time job, so I have to get 54 hours a week for where I'm working. That's how many uh, uh, manager has to have. Um, and so that's the other thing. This is all trying to be done with a not here very often. Um, I was going to show you around here. Oh, and I'll show you the tries a little bit. See, this is this side of the building. And as I write the past, I have it where the big sheep out there have to just fend for themselves and hunker down. And these mamas with all the babies, because you remember there's 35 babies out there, and they can come into the shelter here, which is a good shelter. It keeps them dry and it keeps them warm. Um, and they'll still have this, but they'll have this, and then they'll be able to go in a hole right there and go into both of those stalls. And so it will be, uh, my thinking, a whole different level of just relaxation for them. And remember, a lot of the nourishment that baby sheep get from their mom it either goes to them growing or them surviving by staying warm and not cold. So if you are able to give them a place where they can relax, um, and one of my friends has built a beautiful barn for theirs, which kind of gave me the idea for this. But if you are able to give them a place to relax, those babies are gonna be able to grow quicker because not all their energy is going into surviving. 
Um, and well, that's my thinking on it. But uh, but that's that's the idea with this. I was going to show you the the pigeon barn. You know, the pigeons are still around. They were here earlier. Let me see. They left when some. Um, uh, there's some. They left when some uh, possums messed up their house, and they went somewhere else to live. And they come during the day and eat my food and let me play with, or let me watch them, not play with them. But um, that was a fun chapter in my life, but I'm going to get rid of this whole building here. Uh, I was going to reuse it, but I made it so big that it's just, it, it's, it, lack of better words, it's tacky. Um, and with this new barn system going, I'm going to try to rearrange this where I have some stalls with some things that come out of the barn that I can work the sheep better. Uh, a better creek feeder for the babies in the future. Um, these are some just some feed out boys that need to be put in freezer camp. Um, I was going to show you the babies that were born. Hey goat, this is one goat I have. Had her forever and she's more like a dog and I treat her like that. She just hangs out and it, Buddy, my great Pyrenees, it's her. I mean, that's his baby and so these were born and this is just a Rex litter, a standard Rex, but these were born um, night before last in 24 degrees and they did fine these here i could have lost very easily this litter here um when i came out today she had jumped off the top and i guess knocked it over and so some of the hay had come out but i just put it back and they were still warm and toasty in there it just shows a good mama's a good mama uh all these here um uh, are due tonight or tomorrow night so we will see i wish some of them would have them during the day but they never do um, and so it's going to be 18 degrees tonight, 19 degrees tomorrow night. Uh, and so we will, we will see together how many of those make it, how many don't. Uh, I've been giving them some banana, uh, to help with their milk production to get, get it ready. Um, they'll eat it out of my hand. Get down chicken. I, I do not like chickens in the rabbit barn. I really don't. I'm trying to figure out a way to seal it off. I don't think it's sanitary for rabbits and I am not one to be overly, oh, you need to separate your species and everything, but. I've had some sicknesses or problems, whatever you'd call it, and I can almost guarantee that it's from chicken poop in, uh, in with it. This mama, this heart, uh, this try, is the only one that's really not being great out of all of them. Um, she's lost two to them falling out during the cold night, um, and I'm not sure if that's her fault or their fault for not being smart enough to get back in there. But um, these are just, better. this one's been the best mom. Let me see if I can just put you in here. She's out of the rum buck, and so just a good mixture. I haven't even messed with them any. That's a pretty red back there in the back. But um, just a bunch of reds and broken reds since I bred them back to the the red buck, and then they'll be bred to the try next time. Actually, that, move mama. That, um, move mama. I don't got any banana for you right now. <laughs> if there's some banana for them to chew on, it calms them down really fast. They love that banana. There's some other little ones. These are out of the tri buck. Yeah, you're okay, mama. Yeah. Um, but now, this one will be bred back to my young Harley buck, which I'll go show you him because I haven't showed you him. And this one's about to have babies out of the young Harley buck. Let's go look at him. I do not like Harley as much as I like tri. She's gonna get a box day after tomorrow, and that's a good looking try. And then the magpie skipped on me good for nothing. So she got bred back. But this is a young Harley buck. And he's about six months old. Yeah. And so I bred him to the back, black and white. Yeah. Oh, I sorry guys. I bred him back to the black and white, and I'm gonna breed him to the Charlie uh, and see what that throws. But some of y'all's comments said that him back to that Charlie should make some pretty babies. So we will see if y'all are right. All right, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. So this is now, for time and purposes, the rabbit barn. Oh, I put up these walls since last time I talked to y'all. I need to finish up the top. Uh, it's gonna be something uh, temporary at the top. That way in the summer, I can open it back up. So in the summer, that one will be open. Try not to make y'all sick. And this will be open. Uh, the trees on this side do really good in the summer of shading this whole side over here. So it's like a natural barrier. And I may plant something on the other side. Um, and then I, I'm also working on a rain catch system for this side. That would be an automatic water system with rainwater. 
But um, right now I'm working on the barn and getting those uh, sheep somewhere nice. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye, guys. If you like this, like the channel, subscribe. <laughs> I just like saying that because I watch other channels and that's what they always say. Anywho, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.